Hello and welcome to this short video talking about revision tips that may be helpful in order to achieve the highest grades. So I teach sociology A level but this advice could apply to any subject of any level because it's general advice about learning and about the brain and about what the evidence shows from studies that have been done about improving learning and teaching. So this is from the Evidence-Based Teachers Network, so I should give credit to them. And this is Mazzano, uh, Mazzano's top ten. So um, Mazzano is a researcher into education. Um, if you go to um, ebtn.org.uk, you can find out more evidence or information. So. Firstly, um, link um, new knowledge to things the students already know about. So make connections with what you already know <laughs> to the new information that you're learning. That's why it's good to read ahead and to think about how it relates to what you already know, whether from studying subjects at school or from, from the previous topics while you're at college and so on. Identify similarities and differences between ideas so that you're not getting muddled up so you really understand what each view says. So, for example, a similarity between functionalism and Marxism is the both structuralist theories. So they look at the large-scale picture of society. A big difference is that functionalists are consensus theorists and Marxists are conflict theorists. You need to understand what, what is the difference between those ideas and perspectives. If you create your own similes and analogies, you will learn better. So if you create images or um, flashcards, you could develop this. Note making and summarizing helps you. Um, so if you make them um, yourself, that will help you more than if you just copy someone else's notes or from a book. Growth mindset. You need to think of yourself as, as um, not having fixed intelligence, but having intelligence that can grow and develop. And that will help you get a much higher grade. Repetition. You need repetition to secure memories. Every time you don't review something, the brain wants to throw out the information. Um, this is because we are built for survival. And the brain and body is built for survival. And so we need to keep reviewing information, whether you're talking about it, writing it down, going over and thinking about something. However you review it, it helps you store the information. Graphical methods. Any method other than spoken words or written words can help you. So if you put it into a visual form, um, generating your own pictures or diagrams or mind maps, that would really help you. Work with others. Cooperative learning is shown to improve achievements. So work with others, push each other to test ideas, questions, hypotheses, um, develop graphical organisers. You need to check that you're um, doing things and, and not just coasting. Goals and feedback. You need some kind of sense of where you want to go and get a sense of whether you're getting there and what is going wrong and as long as the feedback tells you um, how to increase your learning then feedback is is useful um, don't just ask for a grade or a mark because that doesn't give you a sense of what you need to do hypothesis testing ask questions and explore them you know why do marxists believe that capitalism is bad An advanced organiser is useful, that's um, a list basically or some kind of diagram which helps you understand the whole course and all the ingredients. Um, pictures are really good for that. So there's ten, ten um, kind of uh, top ten methods for learning. 
Similes and analogies, no making and summarizing, reinforcing effort and having a growth mindset. So think about it in terms of if I, if I do this, then I can learn, or I don't know enough about this subject yet. Okay, so keep thinking that effort will pay off. Don't think of yourself in terms of I don't know this and I'm not good enough at that. Just think, if I make the effort, then I can improve this. I know I'm not good enough at this yet. Repetition. Graphical methods, cooperative learning, goals and feedback, hypothesis testing, activate prior knowledge and use advanced organisers to get the big picture.